This question is just testing your basic knowledge of y equals mx plus b, which in my opinion is the most important formula or equation that we need to know for the SAT. It is the standard kind of version of a line, a linear equation, and they just give us both components. So they do tell us that the slope is one ninth, so that's our m, and hopefully you know that that's the piece that's attached to the x. So if we look, we basically have two choices. We can either pick negative one ninth in a or b, or positive one ninth in C or D. So it's definitely going to be one ninth. That's just what they say it is. So why be weird about it? Just pick the thing that they say. And then the other piece that they give us is 0, 014, which you might recognize as the y intercept. They don't tell us that, but we should know from experience that every single y intercept has an x coordinate of 0. So this fits the bill. And the other component of the y equals mx plus b equation is the y intercept. So that just puts us as choice D. Now, if you were a little unsure, remember, anytime that they give you points and equations on the SAT, we can use my favorite strategy, plug points into equations. So if for some reason maybe you were confused about the 0, 014, just, just plug it in and we'll see that only choice D is going to give us a valid uh, result. If we plug 14 in for y and then take 1 ninth of 0 minus 14, well, 1 ninth of 0 just, just zero, so that goes away. So here we have 14 equals negative 14, which is not true, but if we did the same thing here, we would have one ninth of zero is still zero, but now it's positive 14, so this does check out. Now that wouldn't get us everything because if we tried the same thing in A and B, we would still have this problem of the, the slope, but this is why you really need to memorize Y equals MX plus B. It's gonna come up in lots of different ways, even if it's not as straightforward as this question. You do need to be comfortable working with that equation, recognizing the pieces and plugging things in in the right spots.